Hello, this is very cool. So what I've actually done here is I've created and imported um, a local terrain um, straight from this website up here, um, which is jthatch. And what you can do is basically go into any area around the world and down here you can actually generate a model, that terrain. And what I've actually done is I've kind of jumped into CoSpaces, um, imported that into my environment, created a little water cuboid with a green um, one on top. And I've just done a little simulation here of um, what a flood might actually look like over time um, with the flood actually rising or this cuboid. So let's have a look and see how it looks um, here. So we'll press play. And when I click on it, it'll start rising. And you can see here, if I navigate around, um, we can start to see that water rising over time. And you can see the different areas that will flood first. And it's a fantastic way of looking at how that flood, you can see there it's starting to go pretty quickly. And you can see the areas around Twin Waters that may be the least likely to flood will be inundated with water at the end. Just a, a fantastic way of looking at real life data over time with simulations in the CoSpace app. Um, fantastic way, kids can create their own code, um, simulate different kind of scenarios and weather events and that sort of thing using real data and real terrain um, and import it into CoSpaces. Paul Hamilton here signing off.